ERCOT is sending out a warning to Texans this morning to conserve energy, already asking us to conserve power so there is enough to go around. Well, Texas Today reporter Jordan Sarder Francis is live in the studio with more on ERCOT's announcement, and I do want to say he is live in the studio. Just because it's cold outside doesn't mean we have to put them outside. You get it. It's cold, right? Well, hey, Jordan. Good morning. Good morning. We are now a few minutes past 6 a.m., which means we are now within that four hour window that ERCOT is pleading with Texans to use as little power as possible. Those hours are officially 6 a.m. to 10 a.m. It's because of the extremely low temperatures, the low winds and the very high demand that is going to put a strain on the grid. Now I want to be clear on ERCOT's messaging. This does not mean it's a grid emergency. It's simply a plea to conserve. Remember, the power plants are winterized and Texas now has significantly more battery capacity than when the grid failed in February 2021. Over the weekend, Governor Greg Abbott spoke directly about the grid. This is what he had to say. Uh, we feel very good uh, about uh, the status uh, of the Texas power grid and ERCOT to, to be able to uh, effectively and successfully uh, ensure that the power is going to stay on throughout the entirety of this winter storm episode. Very confident words from the governor right here. And now we do have a map. This is the power outages maps. As you said, we have three, two, three, two power outages. This means this very minimum 25 customers affected. So uh, 33 customers affected. So this means that, you know, we're not going to attribute this to the weather. Now we're going to actually pull up the traffic map drivetexas.org. Now these orange lines you are seeing right here means that this is construction. All right. So ice is not closing down the roads. There are no roads closures, no significant damage caused by the winter storm. We're going to continue to keep you weather aware um, here live on television and on KCNTV.com. I'm Jordan Sarter Francis and I'll see you in 30 minutes. Jasmine, back to you. All right, Jordan, thank you. Yes, please. I hope that power stays on this weekend. Mine went out twice, so let's just fingers crossed. Fingers crossed.